molecular chemistry is both uh, kind of a blessing and a curse, uh, if you will. There's positives and negatives about it. So it can be used in treating cancer. You can image the body using techniques and concepts from here. You can date archaeological objects. Uh, you can also make weapons of mass destruction. Uh, you can have fission plants to create energy. Um, but then you have nuclear waste disposal to deal with. So all those sort of issues are wrapped up in the idea of nuclear chemistry. Uh, in regards to elements, except for technetium, which is right here, uh, most all the elements uh, have stable isotopes you know, with atomic number 83, bismuth, and small. Uh, and some have slight degrees of uh, radioactive ability. But for the most part, all these up here are not radioactive. Once you get to polonium and larger, those are all radioactive. Except maybe the element that Iron Man made on Iron Man 2. Okay? So, otherwise, we have a handful of uh, maybe one or two that could be radioactive, especially technetium, but other isotopes can be radioactive when you get smaller. Okay? So, our first section, uh, radioactivity, Uh, was discovered by a number of people. Uh, Becquerel was storing these photo plates uh, next to this hunk of uranium he happened to have in his desk or wherever he was storing it. And he noticed that those uh, photos became kind of fogged and exposed. And so he's wondering what this strange thing that was happening. And so that eventually called, uh, got called radiation. Uh, and it was uh, Curie who discovered that these uh, elements like uranium and others give off this kind of radiation. Uh, so later when Rutherford uh, discovered that the information about the nuclei and what they're like, that gave us inter information to be able to study uh, radioactivity because radioactivity has to do with the nucleus. So this chapter and subject is totally different than the other chapters that we've studied, all the other chapters, in that everything we studied before had to do with the electron. All the chemistry had to do with the electron. All the chemistry in this chapter has to do with the nucleus. Forget about the electrons, okay? You'll see some electrons pop up here and there, uh, but for the most part, uh, not really. Okay, what is radioactivity? It's the emission of ionizing radiation. Okay? Usually by a heavier element. So it's the emission of ionizing radiation, uh, usually by some heavier element. What's ionizing radiation? That's radiation that will cause something to ionize, which is remove electrons. 